Welcome back to the JV Sports Show. Little hair band weekend. Uh, who was that, James? That was a band have? called XYZ right there, Vince. XYZ. That's a good All time right. rock and roll right there, buddy. That's it. Okay. Oh, man. Are they a Texas band? No, they're not. Uh, I believe oh. they're from uh, the Northeast somewhere. Oh, back in, okay. back in the day. Back in the day. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the JV Sports Show. So as you heard from the intro... It is time for the JUCO report. Big news this week. You know, the, the, it was doom and gloom for a while. And uh, it, uh, in, in the face of uh, this pandemic, uh, the Maricopa Community Colleges, uh, the college presidents had recommended to the interim chancellor, Stephen Gonzalez, uh, to drop sports for the full year, 2020, 2021. Um, the, uh, the chancellor had a couple of open forums, open meetings, uh, I, I tried to get on to ask questions. Nobody would give me the time of day, but uh, the <laughs> result, yeah, it happens. But the result was uh, they, they ended up doing what? Welcoming us, or, or, or we would like to welcome, excuse me, we would like to welcome to the JV Sports Show, uh, Finks College Athletic Director, John Burzins. Mr. Burzins, good morning, sir. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me on. We okay, appreciate you, you coming are, on with us. Uh, Yes, and you are a friend of the program, sir. We've had you on before. We uh, we appreciate you coming back on. You know, it's just kind of a hot seat, hot button issue here. Uh, but uh, but you braved it. You came on and share the good news with our listening audience. No, I mean we're super excited. You know, there was initial recommendation to suspend sports uh, for the entire year. You know, and the chancellor came out this week and made a decision to. Uh, postponed fall and uh you know ncaca came out last week and talked about uh they're gonna move all of our championship seasons outside of cross country to the spring uh which set up really well for us and now we have the opportunity to uh move all championship seasons to spring uh unfortunately outside of cross country at this point but we'll evaluate where we're at later this fall and really look forward to playing for some championships this spring so there's going to be a lot of sports happening hopefully good lord willing in the springtime, and so we're saying that we're going to have volleyball and all the spring sports and everything going at the same time. Is that right? That is correct. Uh, you know, soccer won't start until about the middle of March, uh, but basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, uh, realistically all start round dates about January 11th, uh, all going at the same time. So it should be a real fun, jam-packed spring with a lot of opportunity to come watch some fantastic sports. We're, Mr. Burzins, we are excited beyond belief because, as you know, you know our, our program in particular, we've been a, a huge, huge advocate of junior college athletics here on the JV Sports Show. And, and, but there was, you know, again, some doom and gloom going on and some precautions that, wanted, that, uh, that the college presidents really were recommending to be taken. What changed? What, what, what made the uh, interim chancellor kind of go out on a limb here and, uh, and, and make the decision to just push things back instead of canceling altogether? Well, you, to me, during this climate, we really got to be able to pivot, you know, and nobody else had really made decisions at that point. Um, you know, and really just looking at the landscape with the, the potential opportunity. We didn't know what tomorrow was going to look like, let alone six months from now. You know, so it was a really great decision on his end to postpone what we're able to do this spring and really give us an opportunity to do so. So we're just super excited for that opportunity. You know, I also want to follow up and, and thank you guys as well, because you guys are nothing but supportive of Juco sports and uh, a bigger reason we are able to continue here. Well, thank you so much for those kind words, John. We definitely appreciate it. And uh, rewinding just a little bit before the decision to go ahead and continue and move sports from the fall to the spring semester. Uh, what do you think the initial motivation was to kind of jump on and let's just cancel the whole thing right away. Was it, do you think it was more money driven or was it a, a thing where, you know, Hey, do we have enough staffing in place to pull this off in the fall? Because there's going to be a lot of precautions that'll have to be taken. And what do you think was, was the whole nutshell on the whole thing? You know, realistically, big picture, it's all about health and safety. You know, it's a difficult landscape trying to figure out what the health and safety is going to look like, what testing is going to look like, what we're able to provide, what we can't. You know, obviously, all those big universities right now are kind of doing weekly or daily testing at a significant cost. Um, you know, we're not in that financial situation, but trying to discover what that landscape is and ensuring that our student athletes, staff, uh, everybody involved is safe. Now, initially, when all this was being thrown around, um, the uh, the NJCAA, your governing body nationally, came out and said, "Look, you know, uh, for the fall, condense your seasons, try to limit travel." 
Uh, they started throwing all that out there. And then they said, ultimately, it's up to each individual state or or conference to to govern how they want to proceed. And so are there any additional precautions that you anticipate taking, such as, uh, you know, limiting travel or or cutting the seasons down? Because that's going to be a lot of sports going at one time, you know, with basketball, men's and women's soccer, uh, baseball, softball, volleyball. I mean, there's a lot going on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I do think we're going to look at reduction in schedules. Um, you know, we ha- we're going to have to have conference meetings in the next couple of weeks to discuss what those schedules might look like. You know, a lot of other precautions could come with travel about how we travel to and from, especially local games, um, what environment we put ourselves into. Uh, but a lot of those factors, And but the great news is, uh, you know, we have options and time right now to kind of make sure we make those right decisions and maybe potentially learn off of what others are potentially doing this fall and, and go forward. Awesome. We, we are so excited. Now, you had talked about also bringing back this, this season uh, cross-country uh, to uh, Phoenix College. Now, is that uh, – and I thought you would made mention early that that was being delayed. Is that, uh, that going to sit another year before you bring it back, or how is all that going to play out? No, I appreciate you bringing that back up. I actually made that announcement live on this show a couple months ago. So, at this point, uh, that is just because cross-country – uh, for the district right now, uh, will not be participating this fall. However, uh, we have hired a coach. Dempster Jackson has done an unbelievable job. Uh, he started about March 1st, uh, right before the whole shutdown happened, and he virtually has two full rosters already. Um, what he's brought to the table has been fantastic. He's been uh, coached the year several times at the AIA level, uh, was at the Northwest Christian. So we're super excited what he's done. Uh, all that's going to do for us right now is we're going to really look to see if we can do some distance stuff with those student athletes in the spring with track. Uh, but there's also the possibility that the NJCA moves cross country to the spring. You know, if you look where they were two weeks ago, where everything was going to play this fall, and they pivoted and changed to moving everything to the spring. Uh, if there's not enough teams that are able to participate this fall in that sport, I would assume they might actually make that decision as well. Uh, so the door's definitely still open. Those student athletes will be involved with us. We're super excited to have them opening year one and, and look forward to everything they're going to do. We're visiting here with Phoenix College Athletic Director John Burzens here on the JV Sports Show. John, have you guys uh, made any decisions or, or looked into any possibilities of uh, how you're going to be able to uh, broadcast your games in the spring for the for these athletes and the families? <coughs> hint, hint, hint. In attendance or at least a, a full a full you know, full fan attendance anyway, maybe limited fan attendance, if any fan attendance at all. Have you guys been able to explore that avenue at all? We are still discussing. Obviously, I mean, I think the, the fan attendance is a long way down the road, and we'll have to check the climate. Obviously, playing the sports is our first priority. Um, beyond that, we are exploring options to be able to live stream. Uh, you know, our, our soccer program in the past has used Facebook Live and some of those other aspects, but definitely want to have the opportunity for every sport to be streamed if we're not able to have fans there. So we're exploring check, a lot of options right now. And we'll checking through my schedule right now, James, if you can hear me flipping pages on my calendar as to our availability to broadcast some games. Uh, I think we're open. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying we're open in the spring as of right now, Ben? Well, yeah. we might. We, You know what? We, we may. we got to get out there. You know, this is uh, – Juco Sports have kind of been our bread and butter, so uh, it's Hey, it's we're itching we to do. get back out there too. Make no doubt about we it. We are. We are. Well, so you, we'd you love know, to help you guys. Welcome on our campus. Always welcome. Oh, awesome. That's great. Thank you Appreciate so much, that. John Burzins. Yeah, so Phoenix College Athletic Director John Burzins with the big announcement that fall fall sports being moved to the spring, but sports are on, opportunities abound for young people. You guys out there, uh, high school seniors that are looking for a, a place to go, Maricopa Community Colleges, and in particular Phoenix College, home of the Bears. Uh, they, they are open for business. So some exciting stuff. Coaches are out there uh, uh, recruiting, evaluating, and uh, it's good stuff. All good stuff. Thank you so much, John. Great way to start our Saturday. And, and, uh, and we're always here for you. Looking forward to covering you this year again. Sounds great, gentlemen. Appreciate the support as always. Go Bears. All right. John Go Bears. Phoenix Thank College. you, John, for joining us. We appreciate it. You know, it's great, Vince, that they were able to figure something out there and, and get those things moved to the spring semester. And uh, those athletes now just got to just got to concentrate on uh, whatever comes uh, academically in the fall, whether that be distance.